Hello and welcome to making a quilt about some art concepts. I have found these appropriated fabrics and some of them might help me fill in one of the later prompts so that I don't have to piece my block at all. I can just say, boom, here's a block, it's done, moving on to the next step. So here, the task is to make a vignette inspired by each of these seven elements of art. It is up to you how you do those vignettes. Lines. You Lines probably are what you think they are. There's not a secret special definition. But I have previously cut some batting and that is on my floor and that's helping to contain the space of the quilt so that I can work with this as a picture plane that I'm adding to rather than a limitless expanse on the floor. This is me initially laying out my fabrics for the very first time, splitting some of them open. I didn't know what they would be like. We're getting a sense of the expansiveness of that skirt, how much space is taken up by the feed sacks, and how those other vignettes are interacting with each other. I began in the top corner of the quilt and I was thinking about those sections that I described previously. So even though it was tempting to sew this strip of patchwork together, I didn't do it that way because it didn't make sense for how I would be able to ultimately sew things together. All of this more. is folded and safety pinned. Here, this is also a folded edge because I had this beautiful raw edge right here with this lace that was on this found block. I did sew the block to these additional pinwheels though. When I got to my embroidery of my face, I also used this um, you know, beautiful vintage lace edge. So that's a raw edge, but it's finished edge. Whip stitch is something that I like to do all over, as you can see here, but I also like to do the whip stitch when I reach a corner. So especially by this orange peel fabric, there are a lot of corners for those pinwheels. I'm going to do a running stitch for most of it to be fast, but at the corner I did three little whip stitches, both the innie corner and the outie corner. Here we are ready for the very last step. We're looking at quilting and also at variations. If you're quilting over an embroidery, each quilting stitch has an over and an under. And you might try to be strategic about doing an under stitch so that you don't break some of those lines. At so here, one more time, let's look at how I pieced this. I've ironed under the edge of the yellow and then slid the orange peel underneath it, just like if it was applique, but it's not applique. Let's do my favorite binding technique where I wrap the back around to the front to bind. And I think that that yellow and white color and having the same binding fabric across the whole quilt, again, helped to create some unity. Close, I think that there are a lot of moments to discover something, to be surprised that it actually works together as one whole, and then to get up close and notice some of the detail and the nuance that makes each block unique and special. We have this one life to live. Our time is so precious and I am really grateful that you decided to share some of that time with me. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate your support and I appreciate your trust in me. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys on Instagram. Bye-bye.